emotional moment for Tina Talbot, her friends and family less than an hour ago. After almost two years behind bars, she walked out of these doors here at the Women's Correctional Facility in Ypsilanti. She started to cry. She stopped for an, embr an embrace with her loved ones, especially her son, Philip, who has autism and is nonverbal, according to her attorney. He's been in the care of her parents while she's been behind bars. Talbot was sentenced to 20 months, up to 15 years for killing her husband, who again, she claims severely abused her for years. The accounts of that abuse are just chilling. Talbot said she was in fear for her life and that of her son. After she shot and killed her husband, her attorney says she went to the hospital where she had broken bones and other signs of that abuse. There's been a lot of public support for Talbot since her guilty plea and imprisonment. She pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter for that 2018 killing. Talbot telling Action News this summer that when she learned she'd been granted parole, she just cried. Now this morning she left pretty quickly with her family, but we did speak with one of her attorneys who says she's ready to start her life again. She's getting reunited with her son and um, you know, I hope that uh, the family of her late husband doesn't um, cause more trauma for her. It's just, it's amazing that She's finally seeing the justice that she deserves. She's experienced trauma after trauma, and it's, you know, an unfortunate circumstance that she found herself, and she acted in self-defense, in our opinion. Now, the family of Talbot's former spouse did fight her release, according to her attorney. We, of course, will be reaching out to them this morning to get their reaction to her walking free. I did ask her attorney what is next for Miss Talbot. She says she does have plans for her future, but right now her main focus is just spending time with her little boy, Philip. Reporting live this morning in Ypsilanti, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.